Hi, this video tutorial I will cover session tracking. Here in left side you can see the client David and right side you can see the server. The client David sends request to the server. The server receives the request and process it and sends a response back to the client David. And again client David sends request to the server. Using session tracking, the server can identify the second request is coming from the client David. And also using session tracking, the server can maintain state of the client David. And HTTP is stateless protocol. So each request will be considered as a new request. Here you can see the definition of session tracking. I will read out one by one. Session tracking is the way to maintain the state of an user. It is also known as uh, session management in Serlet. Session tracking is the mechanism of uh, tracking the client provider data and making it available to the next request from the same client. And uh, this process is continued until the user choose to log out or terminate the session. HTTP protocol is stateless protocol. So we need to maintain state using session tracking techniques. Each time user request to the server, the server treats the request as the new request. So we need to maintain the state of an user to recognize the particular user. Session tracking is the mechanism that servlets use to maintain state about series of requests from the same user across some period of time. Session tracking is used to recognize the particular user. Here in left side you can see three users, Ram, Dave and John. And right side you can see a Flipkart a shopping cart application. When Ram visit a Flipkart application first time, for ROM, ROM session object will be created and whatever items he has added in his cart that will be added in the ROM session object. Then uh, when Dave visit uh, Flipkart application first time, for Dave one session object will be created and whatever items uh, Dave added in his cart that will be added in the Dave session object. When uh, John visit uh, Flipkart application first time, for John one session object will be created and whatever items uh, John added in his cart that will be added in the John session object. ROM session object will be available in the servlet container till the user ROM log out from the Flipkart application. Like that uh, Dave session object will be available in the servlet container till the user Dave log out from the Flipkart application. If we are using a session tracking API then the servlet container will take care of uh, track the user and add the items to the appropriate uh, session objects. There are five session tracking methods are there. First one is user authorization. Second one is hidden fields. Third one is URL rewriting. Fourth one is cookies. And fifth one is session tracking API. This uh, session tracking API is built on top of uh, first four methods. First four methods are uh, traditionally used for session tracking in all the server side technologies and uh, this is about uh, session tracking and uh, thanks for watching